This is a video that will guide you through logging in as a partner and a quick overview of the partner back office. So to log into the partner's back office, you're going to go to flexcom.com. Then you're going to come down to the bottom left-hand corner of the page and you're going to click on partner login. Previous videos, we told you how to create a partner account. Now we're going to log into a partner account. The first thing you'll see after you click on uh, partner login is the uh, windows to either use your email or the partner ID to log in. It is best to use the partner ID. So you're going to type the uh, four, I'm sorry, the eight digit uh, partner ID number and then the uh, password that you uh, chose when you created your account. And here's a link for if you've forgotten your password, it'll take you to where you can uh, receive an email to the email address that uh, you uh, used when you created your account. Uh, to uh, change your password. Right now we're just going to talk about uh, logging in and give you a brief overview of the back office. So we'll click on register. Uh, that should say login, but in, right now it says register. And once you're in, uh, you're in the um, what's called the uh, dashboard. So the, you're in the Flexcom back office dashboard. Um, and if you're a brand new person, you won't see this icon here. This is for people that have been in the opportunity uh, since before uh, June 1st. Um, we'll have other explanations about that down the road. Uh, for you people that have been in for a while, this is just designation that you are a pioneer, that you've been in the opportunity for a while. This is a test account, so please do not use this ID number or any of this information for any signups or anything. You're not going to assist yourself by knowing this ID number at all. All right, so uh, taking a look at this, uh, you're in the back office, in the dashboard. Uh, this is a ticker that will uh, show pertinent uh, breaking news information. Uh, technical news will be here. Uh, breaking news, so if there's any new announcements, they'll be here. And then country news will be here. Uh, for the United States of America, you don't want to um, worry about these three buttons. Most of this is talking about things that are going on in Europe. Uh, soon, it will in the American back office, you will only see items pertaining to the United States of America. Here you see the daily uh, calendar that shows you events going on around the world. And we'll show you how to see just events going on here in the United States. Uh, this flex start countdown will disappear as this is not applicable to the United States of America. So we'll have that disappear pretty soon. Uh, here is where you will see um, the uh, information for your uh, flex app for your uh, as, as a partner, as a DMR independent rep, you have a uh, basically a flex app account. If you don't see your flex card number and your PIN number here, you'll see an orange button that effectively says create your card number and your PIN number. All you have to do is click on that orange button and then within a few seconds you'll see your card number and your PIN number. Uh, write those down, have those handy. Uh, these are going to be powerful tools for you later on. Uh, my data is how you can see uh, the information that you entered when you created your account. My front line is how you can see the people that signed up with you. Uh, so the people that are front line to you, they put in your ID number. Uh, when they said who their sponsor was, they said their sponsor was you. Uh, my team, this is uh, basically another uh, way to see your organization, people in your group. And my organization, this is a way to see your rank, your level, and the people in your organization and their level. Uh, my maps, uh, this will soon show you uh, maps uh, that are, are the uh, maps for where uh, people, uh, where there are uh, Flexcom stores, Flexcobies, merchants, uh, Flex dealers. It's called several different things in different places. But this is where the stores are. The, the merchant stores will show here. And commissions is where you can see your commissions, how much you've earned uh, through the various methods of earning commissions. This bottom link is where you can generate your QR code. This is where you see your static QR code. Flex order is where you see your orders. Uh, coming soon, there will be the ability for you to order uh, Flexcom business cards and so forth, and Flexcom shirts and hats, things like that. They will be under Flex orders. Downloads is critical. Under downloads, this is where you will find uh, the tutorial materials. Uh, you'll find all kind of links to very important information, especially for a brand new person or person who's re-engaging. And then there's the events calendar. The events calendar is the same as this link up here. Um, there's usually more than one way to get to the same information. So the events calendar will take you to the same place that events will here. All right, so going back up to the top of the page, um, a lot of the information like uh, my data, this is another way to get to my data. So under, that, under my office, you'll see my data. This will show you your information. And um, it will also give you the ability to change your password. And this survey will show you the data. Uh, the My Data link is where you can change things. The survey shows you the way things are currently. 
and uh, the my data will give you the ability to change things currently there's nothing that you can change my front line this is once again a test account so these are um, test accounts that are signed up under this test account so um, the first section of, of the uh, my front line shows you the stores that are signed up under you these are each test account so please don't use these ID numbers they're not pertinent to you you don't want to use these at all other than the 4351 number Uh, the 4351 number is the test account that everyone can log into. The I, that's the uh, if you have a terminal, you log in at 4351 with the password 123456. And of course, there's a, a tutorial showing you about this in the uh, back office and online at our Power to Change uh, YouTube channel. So going down to the next section is distributors. Uh, these are your partners, your DMR um, independent reps. Uh, these are the people that have signed up frontline with you. And these are their ID numbers, the date that they signed up, the name that they entered, and their email addresses. So forth. These are all test accounts, so please don't note these, don't do anything with these. Uh, and now uh, under customers, you're seeing the, uh, the nine test accounts that we created uh, underneath this test account. These are test um, um, customer accounts and uh, basically, just uh, we're making certain these things are working going back to uh, October of uh, 2013. So that is the My Frontline section. And then My Team is another way to see your organization. And this gives you a breakdown of uh, the partners you have. So there's, there's 25 test accounts under here, 16 of them direct, one partner account this month. That's the test account that we made in the other video. Uh, partners this year, there's 19. Uh, team status, uh, don't worry about this. This is not pertinent to the United States of America. Uh, team career levels, this is. This is uh, stating uh, whether they, uh, what rank they are effectively. So team career is the same as rank. And then you can filter this data above by uh, region. Which is a very powerful tool if you're building nationwide. Okay, and then the uh, last section under my office is my organization. This is another way to see your organization in a tree format. So what you have here is where um, you can see the uh, the 41 uh, total partners underneath this test account. You can see the rank of the test account. Well, these are the latest partners that came in here. And then this section talks about the career status. So when you come in um, and if you have no activity for that month, you're a team member. As you have more activity, more con uh, con um, CV happening, more commissionable volume happening, you move up in rank each month. You start out at TM and then you move up to a marketing manager, sales manager, sales director, a national director, and president's team in general uh, by having more volume and uh, having a certain number of uh, legs underneath you. We'll go into the, the comp plan on another video. So this is another way to see the structure of your organization. When you first click on my structure you're seeing all the frontline people and this uh, shows you that you can sign up people in other countries uh, just in case you're wondering and um, you also have the ability with these other downlines. As you can see here, see there's zero partners here, zero partners, zero partners, zero partners, zero partners. But here there's three partners, and there you see a drop down. So you click on the drop down, and now you can see the people that are two levels away from you. So this person, if we uh, collapse this back up, all these people are frontline to you, and all these people are second tier to you. And then this person, for example, would be third tier for you. And that's, so that's how you'd see uh, your organization, who's in, when they uh, join the opportunity, and their uh, current rank. So that is the My Organization link. To get back to the uh, dashboard, you just click on the icon up here, or you can select My um, Dashboard here. That takes you back to the dashboard. Next, we're going to go to Finance. There are other videos going into more detail on each of these uh, links. Now we're going to click on Commissions. And once you get into Commissions, um, this is showing you your current status, your balance. So if you had any 
um, funds that were uh, approved that have been vetted and vested and the money is available for transfer over to your Paylution HyperWallet. That's how we pay partners is via Paylution HyperWallet. Then you would, uh, let's say that it said $100 here and you wanted to get that $100, you click on request payout and then you'd have the ability to request that from yourself. So uh, you type in 100 here in the scenario we're talking about and you click on request. Um, the request payout, uh, would you like to request this payout, 100 US dollars, and the answer in this uh, scenario would be yes. It's going to give us an error here because uh, we don't have uh, $100. We have, it says you have to have at least $50 in order to pay yourself out. Uh, so you can see a breakdown of the funds that you have available. A history is down here. And once again, the way that we just did this is how you would request a payout if you had uh, at least 50 US dollars. If this is the first time, if you if this is the first time you've earned commission and now you're requesting a payout, that is how you start up your Paylution account. So your Paylution, also sometimes called HyperWallet, your Paylution HyperWallet account cannot be created until you have at least fifty U.S. dollars in commissions, and then you request those fifty dollars to be paid to you. You'll get an email from Paylution HyperWallet that um, will um, give you take you through the steps to set up your your account with Paylution HyperWallet. Uh, there's a video in your back office under downloads that teaches you exactly what Paylution HyperWallet is and how to set it up. Uh, but just, just know this is how you uh, request that and that's how you get that started. Okay, if you go into payoffs, under finance, uh, this is basically a, a record of uh, what you've been paid in the past and also another way to get to the uh, request button, just kind of cutting to the chase there. Going back to commissions for a second here, uh, commissions can come from several different um, directions. And uh, the nice thing about the uh, current back office is that they kind of all lead into the same place that you can pay yourself out without uh, going into multiple sections. So uh, you can get team building. Uh, that's uh, where if there's any commissions that can come from signing up a partner. Currently, there are not. There's no CV in partner. Uh, Flex Kobe, this is where there's activity in uh, your, your stores. Flex Kobe, a merchant, a dealer, those are the same thing. So when you have a store underneath you and there's real money moving back and forth, then you can see those real monies here. And once they turn green, uh, you can request a payout of them. Uh, customer activity, you get uh, if you kiss customers directly and there's revenue from that for you, then uh, when you click on customer, you'll see those uh, monies down here. If they're green, then you can request those to pay out. Uh, flex order. This is if there's an order uh, in uh, by someone in your organization. Uh, they order hats or something else that has commissionable volume. Then that will generate uh, funds for you. As you can see here, there's thirty dollars in uh, the flex order. So someone ordered something that uh, in the in, in all those test accounts underneath this test account, somebody ordered something that generated thirty dollars in um, in uh, commissionable volume. However, there is um, in fact, you can see what, what, where that came from by clicking on this um, spyglass here. So it's supposed to look like a magnifying glass. When you click on that, it'll give you uh, information regarding that. So that came from ID number 82057, uh, the Happy Test. Uh, that was another uh, test account there. And that's a, a, a store underneath us. So the merchant ID number is 8123, and it was 30 US dollar transacted back on the uh, 2nd of August. Uh, if you have multiple pages, that'll show down here. And so that's how you can see where your commissions came from. Uh, that is red because these are all test accounts. And so the, the $30 is red because it is not vetted and vested. If this was a real account with a real merchant underneath it, those $30 will turn real after, uh, some, after the money is vetted. And then it'll turn green. And then you can uh, request that once you get up to 50 US dollars. Um, once again, so there's these four kind of uh, hoppers for money, like team building, for example. And then provisioning is just uh, standard commissions. Bonuses, any bonuses associated with that particular column. So in team building, this bonus is associated with team building. If there is a bonus associated with uh, Flex Kobe, with your, your stores, you click on bonus. And then Flex Kobe, since we're under the Flex Kobe hopper, we'd see any bonuses there. If there are any dollars to be shown, we click on this search window and it would tell us where those dollars came from. So here you can see all these uh, different test things going on here and uh, no real money came out of it. So that's why the, you don't see any real money. Uh, and so we'll just go back here to commissions. So you get a lot of data in your back office. 
and um, a lot of ways to uh, track that data. And let's say under team building, if there's some sort of special that was going on, this is how you would see that. So uh, again, under Flex Kobe, you're going to have provision and bonus. There is no special there. Under customer, you're going to have provision, bonus, and special. And under Flex Order, provision, bonus, and special. So that is uh, pretty much how that works. Now we're going to go to uh, license and order payment. This gets us back into the Flex Store again. Currently, uh, for the um, your, there are not a lot of items back here. You'll see more items with time. Right now, there's no way, to, there's nothing to order because this account effectively already has uh, everything that it can have. So we're going to click on back to the back office here and go through the rest of the links here uh, to complete this tour. So next, we're going to click on uh, QR codes under. Um, marketing best practice is for you to click a, uh, print out your qr code this is your static qr code you can print this out you want to laminate this you want to have this in your back uh, pocket in your wallet in your purse so that anytime you can kiss people yes you can kiss them with your phone but what if you're talking on your phone and you still want to kiss somebody what if you're waiting for uh, somebody to put you on hold and you're trying to kiss somebody right now why go through the uh, the, the steps to have to try and um, flip back and forth where you can just pull this um, printed and laminated card out of your back pocket, out of your purse, and kiss people. What if you're trying to kiss a whole room full of people? You can use your phone and that laminated card. There is every scenario that you'd want to have uh, printed this out and laminated it and have it ready at all times to kiss. You want to kiss as many people as you can. The more people you kiss, the more ammunition you have to convince your first merchant uh, to sign up with you. All right, so under marketing also, just like we saw before, there's other ways to move around this back office. Under marketing, you click on downloads, and downloads is uh, where you'll see a lot of the marketing material, training materials as well. So you have incentives, SEPA. There's nothing under SEPA right now. You have PowerPoint presentations. You have marketing tools there, marketing um, uh, materials, uh, news and updates, training, uh, Kobe contracts. These are the contract for the uh, merchants. Uh, KTM contracts for you people who are brand new. Don't worry about that. Uh, for the people who have been around for a while, this is where those KTM contracts are. And partner contracts. These are for various things that partners uh, would uh, need. These, these are the actual contracts uh, for various things. If you're a brand new partner, don't worry about that. All that's under partner uh, contracts is uh, policy and procedures for you. The other items are for partners who've been around for a while. The only other thing that in, is in there for a new partner Partner would be a partner to partner transfer of ownership of terminal. Uh, that terminal would then be used by the brand new partner, by the brand new DMR independent rep, as a demo only terminal. So uh, we'll go into that on another video. All right, next we'll go into zoning. In zoning, um, you click the distribution map. This is how you can find out how many partners are around you in a particular area. You need to first put in the zip code. 89074 here in the office and then select the uh, proper country so United States of America alphabetically we're going to be down here near the bottom click on USA 89074 and then show now this will show you have to let it populate all the partners that are around you in your geographical area so here uh, around us there are all these uh, uh, Flexcom DMR partners and you can move around the map um, as such and uh, and see how many partners are around now uh, currently it will not give information for who that person is uh, that is because we have uh, security for each person uh, if somebody wants to have a meeting or something to that effect uh, they will uh, contact us and we'll post it up on Facebook and then that's how you would uh, meet up with them and, and form your own group in in, in any particular area, including this one. All right, and so the last section is extras. Let's go into extras and then flex order. Flex order takes us back to our shopping cart. Once again, there's not a lot in there right now. In order to get out of the shopping cart, we're going to click on back to back office. And then the last thing under extras is event calendar. When you're looking at the event calendar, this shows the entire world. As you can see, there's a lot going on in Earth. That's because Flexcom is a worldwide dynamic opportunity. So my question would be, well, how can I see only what's going on in my little neck of the woods called America? You click on the American flag, and now it's filtered. All you see are the uh, items that are pertain uh, to the United States of America. So now you can see there's just these uh, conference calls each night. Uh, we had a, a meeting in uh, Orlando, Florida. Uh, on uh, Saturday the 23rd, and there's that meeting. If you click on that meeting, you'll get the information about that particular meeting. 
all the uh, all the data that you could possibly want. And so uh, you also have the ability to look forward and back. Uh, if you want to see what was going on in the next month, you just simply uh, it says August up here. Uh, you click on this arrow here to go forward. These will be populated as we get closer to September. You'll see September flushed out. All right, so that is the um, view of your back office. Thank you.